to play. As a school psychologist, the best part of my job is that I have the excuse to play. Did you know that psychological pain is considered to be an inescapable aspect of human existence? Well, if that's true, then we need something that is safe, universal, and encourages openness to do our emotional work. Play can provide that safe space and set the foundation for healing. The philosopher Plato once said, you can learn more in an hour of play than you can in a year of conversation. I believe that's true. While in play, I once worked with a seven-year-old who was sitting in a corner and he hadn't spoken in months. And I got him to come over and play with me just by taking a few connecting blocks and making a mini swimming pool. You see, his father cleaned pools for a living, so I knew we only needed a neutral place to connect with each other. Play made him talk. When working with a girl who was victimized by bullying, we used play to, t to think about and practice new ways of responding without having her paralyzed by her emotions in the moment. Play made her think. And while in play, I worked with a girl who was so anxious, she walked around holding her breath, sometimes so long she became lightheaded and even fainted. She and I, we used blowing bubbles as a technique to teach her how to breathe more intentionally. Play made her feel differently. In a most magical moment in play, I used art to disarm an aggressive child and show him that his threats and intimidation techniques did not scare me. And I found the little guy inside him who was just misunderstood. Everyone was afraid of Dennis. Even his file was terrifying. But in play, Dennis was just a cute little kid who needed someone to listen. Play allowed us to connect. None of these children look like me, thought like me, talked like me, felt like me, or even wanted to like me. But play provided common ground. So play to me is therapeutic. Take a look at this image. Let's call her Elena. You might look at Elena here and think that she's playing fantasy. For a healthy function of child, that might be true. Well, let me say that Elena struggles emotionally. And let's just say that I've learned that this is one of her ways of coping, using avoidance. I would use that as a tool to build my alliance with her. You know, I would let her wear this coat over her head while she talked and played with me, and I too would use a similar strategy, like putting a hat over my head and pulling it all the way down over my face while we talked and played. Well, I actually have been known to put a hoodie on backwards while playing games. The main point is to meet her where she is. So you see from all these examples, play has healing properties, and it engages the senses. Like I said, play makes us talk. It promotes healing from the pain of withholding our feelings. It allows for assumptions to be dismantled and new understandings to grow. Play makes us think. It mobilizes stagnant ideas. It allows us to come up with new creative solutions to sometimes old problems. Play makes us feel. We can engage in emotional expression and even work through some of the most difficult emotions before interacting in real life situations. And finally, play allows us to connect. Connect and grit get commonality where there are differences. We can rehearse our cultural norms and even build new relationships that embrace our natural cultural identities. So now you know, play makes us talk, it forces us to think, it engages us in feeling, and it provides opportunities for us to connect with one another. Play is a powerful tool. Play is therapeutic, the healing power of play.